Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm playing with a little palette that I have had my eye on for a while. I didn't want to place an order directly through Makeup Revolution's website, so I did wait for this to come to Ulta, and it was kind of funny. I don't usually shop a whole lot of Makeup Revolution or iHeart Revolution or whatever <laughs> they're called on Ulta, but the mini peach palette came like super fast and then this one it did take a little while for it to come to Ulta so when I saw that it launched I was like on there um because I thought this was so cute and I have the big guy which I put in a green palette video um in I think January you guys might have seen that my green palette collection video and I had like told myself I was going to try and use this before the end of 2019 and Lo and behold, I still have not put this on my eyeballs, but I did swatch it the other day just because I was like in the mood to play with some shadows. And then here is what the little baby looks like. She's so cute. I did see my friend Angie use this palette on her channel recently. And I just, I don't know, I just, the completionist in me kicked in and said, well, you know, might as well have the set. So... I just wanted to quickly swatch her for you guys so you could see. I'm just on such a big green palette kick as always. I don't know if it ever stopped, but I've definitely been picking up small, mini, little green palettes everywhere. I don't know what's going on with me. Ooh, pretty. So there's all of the swatches. And I believe this palette is under 10 bucks. I think it was like, eight or nine dollars from Ulta's website and yeah super cute and then I just thought you know let's keep with the mini theme and the affordable theme and I picked up these little AOA studio travel type brushes and I thought it would be so fun if I could this packaging is so cute if I could film a look with this I don't usually travel like with makeup like I know some people have makeup that they like keep in their purse and stuff like that. I've never been one of those people. Um, mostly because I'm such a brush person. I don't usually use my fingers too, too much to apply makeup. And then when I saw that AOA Studio was coming out with a little brush set and a tin to put it all in, I was like, let me try that. So you guys may see this in my March haul video because I did pick it up in March. And these brushes are so freaking cute i thought this would be such a handy set for me to have if i do decide to start carrying my makeup around with me or i don't know if i travel or something there's a little spoolie this is so fun oh my gosh these are so cute i should probably unpack them before i started filming this but so cute i can't handle it and that was $10 from Shop Miss A. So we're gonna use the brushes. Let's see what happens. So for eyes, these are my five choices. They don't really have like a blender exactly, but I think I can make these work. So let's go in with this green shade. I'm just gonna pick that up with a brush and apply that. I did, um, prep my lid with the P. Louise base. Same old base that I always use. The shadow is a little bit dusty, but it's blending really nicely into my crease. Probably should tap the brush the next, next time. And it's building up really well as well. So you guys, um, in case you are quarantined and looking for TV show recommendations, I have two really good ones for you. I just started watching Little Fires Everywhere, which is a Hulu show. I think it's exclusive to Hulu and it is like a series, but they're releasing a couple of episodes at a time. So right now I just watched the fourth episode and it was so good. It's got Reese Witherspoon in it and Carrie Washington. And I just like love Carrie Washington from what's the show with the president? Oh my God, Scandal. I love her in Scandal. So I'm so glad to see her back on a show. 
and it's a good show. It's uh, based off of a book uh, called Little Fires Everywhere, and I don't know, it's just really interesting. It's got like a little bit of mystery, a little bit of sass, and really good commentary on like bias and racism too. So if you're interested, I would recommend very, very highly. And then I'm gonna take this green, oh gosh, this is powdery. I should probably gotten dressed after I finish my eyeshadow, but that's okay. Anyway, so that's, ooh, that's actually blending really well into the lighter shade. That's nice. And then my other show that I just found today, I kept wanting to film, but I was like sucked into the TV, was um, a show called Making the Cut, and it's like exactly like Netflix um, Next in Fashion, but this is on Amazon Prime Video, and it's got Tim Gunn and Heidi Klum from, what is that show called? The design show, I'm blanking. Not America's Next Top Model. Um, shoot, Project Runway. I don't think those two are on Project Runway anymore, so they have their own um, show on Amazon Prime, and it's pretty good. It's not as good as Next in Fashion so far. I don't think the designers are as good as the ones in Next in Fashion. That might be my unpopular opinion. I don't know, but for me, it's like some of those outfits are... I don't know. They look pretty bad. I was like, you're on a competition to win a million dollars for your fashion brand. And like the one girl, which granted, like it's not really a sewing contest. The one girl literally sent down a look in one of the runways that like had no stitching. She just draped like fabric on this model. And I'm like, I could do that. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I could do that. So if you guys are into shows like that, check it out. Okay, now I'm gonna go into this darker greeny. It's like a green, it's like a dark brown. It's like the stem of the avocado and I'm just lightly tapping that on the very end here just to give it some depth. Interesting. I've been so into affordable makeup lately. I just use the Hot Jalapeno Palette from e.l.f. and I really had fun playing with that. I really thought those shades perform like high-end eyeshadows. So now that I have all the mattes down, I'm going to put a shimmer shade on. And for the shimmers, I'm debating between these two shades. So maybe we'll mix them. We'll see. Let's go without wetting the brush. Just tapping in with this little shadow brush. Ooh. Wow, it's pretty foiled. I feel like this is one of those formulas though that the foil shadow is gonna make a mess everywhere because it's very flaky. Let me just try and wet the brush real quick and avoid the flaking. So if you guys haven't uh, been keeping up with my channel, I did talk about the current situation here and there and I had mentioned that we're gonna code name the virus uh, Voldemort and you guys saw that was pretty funny I got that from Angelica she's a drama channel here on YouTube she's so sassy and funny um, so I had to mention that again here and ask you guys since you know some of you are working from home or some of you are maybe students from home. If you guys have any suggestions of videos you might like to see or any suggestions to our other YouTube friends here on my channel of tips and tricks of staying entertained while you're in quarantine, let everyone know in the comments so we can like help each other out. If you have any resources you'd like to share or if you guys have you know, YouTube channels yourself and you want to share those with other people in the comments, you know, let's try and help each other out to make the best of our time at home and try and be productive and maybe like DIY projects that you guys think others should try. The other thing I'd love is if you guys have any questions for me, 
about anything just leave me a comment like if you guys are thinking of starting your own youtube channel if there's any helpful tips and tricks i can give you or if there's you know any anything that i can help you guys with in that sense just let me know in the comments and i would be so happy to help you guys out so wow okay okay that green is pretty popping I'm definitely going to have to clean up a little bit under the eyes here, as you can see. But I'm going to do that, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so all I did was put my foundation on and just put some of the $1 Essence eyebrow stuff in my brows. <laughs> and I want to do the rest of my look with those little brushes. So let's see here. I have all of these options so i think this one is going to be a good one for setting my under eyes and i've been using the abh powder since it's like one of my favorite powders for the under eye and my face in general i don't usually use a lot of powder I just use some in my under eye area to set my face everything else i just kind of leave as is and then for bronzer I've been loving the Samantha March bronzer from her Ofra collab, so I'm going to use this brush for that. Let's see. It's always interesting to see how um, my makeup routine would be like if I had less things, you know? Like I remember being in college and having like one brush for all of my face products and now it's like oh I have a YouTube channel so I feel like I have all these like extra things but I think this is so fun to kind of like limit what I have and see what I can manage to pull off so that's pretty exciting so definitely bronze the shit out of my face and then I've also been loving her chiclet blush so I do have a demo of this collection on my channel. I'll try and remember to link it for you guys. But these brushes are honestly performing like my full size, expensive, somewhat drugstore brushes. Like I have a mix, I have Morphe, I have, you know, all kinds of stuff. So not bad, I'm impressed. And then I wanna try this. This is probably not the best idea to layer on top of uh, powder, but this is that new Fenty stick. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm, is it helping? Is it adding anything? Is it making me glow? I know. Oh, I can see it. It's kind of like a natural kind of deal. But I'm not going anywhere fancy tonight, so. Do you guys see it? Is it moving my product around? <laughs> so this is that new Fenty Matchstick in Pearl. I don't know, I was really curious about it. I thought it'd be kind of fun for like no makeup looks, but we shall see. Okay, I'm not going to put any other like glow on I like that and then I just need to do my under eyes so I'm gonna go back into my palette and I have all these really great little brushes so I think I'm gonna go into this one this definitely looks like a little pointer brush and I'm just gonna throw some of that dark green uh oh things got a little out of control here I like it okay and then I'm gonna go into the light green and just create a little bit of a gradient. I like. Of course, I have to grab my chameleons from Terra Moon. There's some beautiful greens in here. Let me see. I'm gonna grab this little guy and grab some of the shadow. Oh, I love it. Okay, so that is pretty much the entire look. Oh, I did want to put. A little bit of a brow bone 
this shade, the champagne color. I just want to like lightly blend that onto the brow. Add a little shim shim. Love. Okay, so I'm going to line my eyes. I'm going to put mascara on, put a lip color on, and I will be back to show you the final look. Okay, guys, so here is the final look. I did add some earrings and my lip combo is a Huda pencil and then I use the ColourPop So Juicy Gloss. I also use the Linda Hallberry Green Eye Pencil in my waterline. Those are kind of the majority of the products you didn't see on camera, but I just wanted to mention, always have lipstick on my teeth. So I apologize, blanket apology for always having lipstick on my teeth. Anyway, as far as the products I tried out today, I feel like it was a hit. Like. This little guy really packed a punch. I feel like I can definitely do a decent, wearable, everyday like eye look with this. Now, I would have preferred the crease shades to be a little bit more bright, but the shimmer is nice and vibrant, so it really helps pop my eyes. And this brush set is honestly like a 10 out of 10 for me. I feel like this is so cute for 10 bucks and there's plenty of brushes in here for you to get a whole face look done and I'm really freaking impressed. Like if I didn't have a YouTube channel and I was just doing like everyday makeup, I feel like I could easily get away with using these brushes on a daily basis. I love the size. I love the little tin. You can easily throw these in your bag and they'd be protected no matter where you were going, what you were doing. This would be a great foundation brush. I managed to do a good bronzer look. I found a decent blush brush. I think I would use this for setting my under eyes as well as highlighter if I hadn't used that stick. And I think there were plenty of eye brushes to accomplish a standard, somewhat complex eye look. So I really like this. And that's it for this video. I just wanted to keep it short, hopefully, and sweet and talk about some cool new like affordable finds. I'll try and remember to link both of these products in my description box and I will also remember to link the Pow Pow sponge for you guys from Shop Misse. I love this sponge. I have so many of them littered throughout my makeup room because they are literally like $1.55 which is such a great deal. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comments and I will catch you in my next one soon. Bye guys!